Hola everybody, it's Chloe from Kids Lingo Cheltenham Gloucester and Tewkesbury and I'm here to read you a bedtime story today. I've got Pablo here and I've got my star machine and I'm in a comfy little place so why don't you get yourselves comfy while I read you How the Dinosaur Got His Shoes. Now it's a very special storybook because it starts off in English and ends in Spanish. Really exciting. So it's a one third storybook written by Johnny Prynne and illustrated by Hannah Hutchings. So you ready? We're going to get started now and go. So, people have always wondered why they find piles of shoes wherever they find dinosaur bones. The truth is that all dinosaurs used to wear shoes. All of them, that is, except Terence Rex. It wasn't that Terence didn't want to wear shoes. Without them, he was always treading on thistles or stubbing his toes on rocks or leaving footprints everywhere so that the other dinosaurs knew it must be him who had stolen the biscuits. It was just that he could never find any shoes that were quite right. But after one particularly sore feet, stubby toes sort of morning, Terence decided that enough was enough and he set off to find the perfect pair of zapatos, or shoes. Zapatos means shoes. It wasn't long before Terence found a dinosaur twirling around in a pair of pink ballet shoes. Hello, what's your name? Hola, me llamo Steg, said the other dinosaur. Could I try on your pink zapatos? asked Terence. See, sí, of course you can try on my zapatos rosas, said Steg. Terence put on the zapatos rosas and started to dance with joy. He whirled and twirled and leapt through the air right onto a prickly thistle. <gasps> Ouch! cried Terence. Los zapatos rosas were just too thin. No. These aren't right, but I can't expect to find the right zapatos after trying on just one pair. Thank you, Steg. Goodbye. The next dinosaurio Terence met was wearing sparkling white disco zapatos. Hola, como te llamas? said Terence. Me llamo Trish, said the dinosaurio. Could I try on your white zapatos? See, sí, of course, said Trish. Terence popped on the zapatos blancos and looked down at his feet. But los zapatos blancos sparkled and shone and made his eyes hurt. No, these zapatos aren't right either, said Terence. But I've only tried on one, two pairs. Gracias, Trish. Adios. Terence walked on until he met a dinosaurio as tall as the trees, wearing red high-heeled zapatos. Hola! Terence shouted up to her. Como te llamas? Me llamo Bridget, said the tall dinosaurio. Terence told Bridget about his search for zapatos. When he asked her, she kicked off her red zapatos for him to try. He climbed into los zapatos rojos, but they were so tall. He wibbled and wobbled and fell right on his bottom. No, these shoes aren't right either. But I've only tried on uno, dos... Tres pairs. <sighs> Gracias, Bridget. Adios. Terence left the forest and found a pair of dinosaurios in shiny black tap zapatos, bashing their heads together. Hola, me llamo Crash, said the first dinosaurio. Y yo me llamo Wallop, said the second. Could I try on your black zapatos? asked Terence. Wallop gave Terence his zapatos negros. But when Terence tried them on, 
All the tipping and tapping gave him a terrible headache. No, these aren't right, but I've only tried on uno, dos, tres, cuatro pairs. Maybe I'll find the right zapatos at the watering hole. I think that's a sensible idea. What do you think? Yeah, do you think Terence is going to find it at the watering hole? Hope so, fingers crossed. There were lots of dinosaurios at the watering hole and lots of zapatos to try on. El par de zapatos number cinco were green trainers, but los zapatos verdes were too sporty. El par de zapatos number seis were orange football boots, but los zapatos naranjas were too smelly. Yuck. El par de zapatos número siete were big purple boots, but los zapatos morados were too heavy. El par de zapatos número ocho were yellow wellies, but los zapatos amarillos were too dinosaurio dungy. Blech. I've tried on. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho pares de zapatos. Oh, and none of them have been right, said Terence. Just then, a flying dinosaurio wearing blue zapatos with wheels on the bottom landed beside him. Hola, said the flying dinosaurio when she saw Terence, me llamo Penny, pleased to meet you. Hola, said Terence, could I try on your zapatos azules? Si, of course, said Penny. These zapatos azules are great, said Terence, whizzing around. I wonder where I can get a pe- ah, ah, ah! He wailed, rolling down the hill. There he goes, look at him go, rolling, 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 and crashing into a tree. It's hopeless, Terence cried. I've tried on uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve pares de zapatos, and not one of them has been right. I'm just going to have sore feet and stubbed toes forever. Actually, there is one more par de zapatos for you to try, said a voice from the bushes. There was a rustling and Bridget appeared, followed by all of her other dinosaurios Terence had met that day. We all had so much fun watching you try on our zapatos that we wanted to say gracias, said Steg. So we bought you a present. Penny swooped down next to them, carrying a large box. Terence opened the box and inside he found a pair of fancy brown zapatos. They weren't too thin or too shiny or too smelly or too loud, or too dirty, and they were just his size. Gracias, said Terence, putting on los zapatos marrones. I've tried on uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez pares de zapatos, and these ones are perfect. And although he did have a little trouble with the laces from time to time, Terence never had sore feet or stubbed toes ever again, all thanks to his zapatos marrones. The end. There we go. What did you think of that story? I love that story. All of the different shoes that Terence tries on. Which ones were your favourites? Did you like the number one numero uno? Did you like the pair, the ballet pair? Mm -hmm. What about the tap shoes? 
or the wheelie shoes. Have any of you got wheelie shoes? Well, I hope that you enjoyed the story. And if you're in the Gloucestershire area and you're interested in online classes, um, then you can click, uh, you can find any classes on um, at Kids Lingo, Cheltenham, Gloucester and Tewkesbury, or you can get in contact with me. Um, my email's gonna come on just in a minute and my phone number as well. Uh, and if you're from further afield, um, then yeah, go to the kidslingo.co.uk um, website and they'll put you in touch with the, your closest tutor. And we do French and Spanish all over the country. Um, so it was lovely reading your bedtime story. And I hope to see you guys all again soon, yeah? Adios, have a lovely sleep. Buenas noches, adios.